Hello everyone, and welcome back to the second part of Lara in Nepal. So we're just going to go straight into it, and with any luck, <clears throat> with any luck, I don't die. I know what I'm doing this time round, so. You know me wrong, I knew what I was doing second time round, but, uh, first time round, rather. But this time I'm just going to relax. Take my time. Don't slip. I've got it. Right, run, run, run. It was boarding well until then. Right. Guys, I'm going to talk to you all after I get past that one section. Okay? Deal? Good. Here we go. I'll talk to you all. So, we're finally past that horrendous section that I continuously died on. I'm gonna take him out because I think he has grenades. Assault rifle. Of course I do. I love my assault rifle. Right, here we go. Oh, there we go. Trophy. See the good things that present themselves to you when you're actually, you know, deserving of them. And another one. This may be one of the levels we get, you know, 100 on? We can hope. <laughs> my foot is dead. I'm trying not to sit on my brushes. Just wash my makeup brushes. So, but 
There is a big cat in here. There is. There is. No, there's no. There is forever a trophy. Yeah, so I guess that's one thing I could tell you about myself. Um, I'm into makeup, as are many girls my age, I suppose, or just many girls in general. What are you doing, Lara? If you fall in there, though, she doesn't actually die, like, instantly. She just kind of goes, my god, it's freezing, or something. Right, these are definitely one of the points at which I'm probably going to fall in the water. I always fall in the water around about here. Oh, there we go. Well, of course, typical. No, there's a big cat. on for this part. Oh, it's not there. <laughs> and it's not here. Okay, it's on the other side. There's a trophy around here. Again, because there's always trophies. not this one clearly anyway guys um, at least I've not I've kept my word so far apart from that one part at the beginning where is it I could have sworn there was a <sighs> okay guys okay I clearly imagined the trophy that I'm thinking of. <gasps> Just as I was saying I was keeping my word! Right, I actually had the right idea there. Well, the idea is to swing, then let go, and then reattach to the bell in front of you. But, yeah. Hopefully we're not too far back. Please don't let me be... No, we're okay. We're here. There. Okay, let's do this a bit better than last time. But you can see the three bells kind of lined up, you know, I wasn't just talking shit. Can you shoot from here? I don't know, I don't even want to try it, because knowing my luck of knowing my luck you can't. No He jumps for you Bad kitty Bad kitty There And oh, that's really pretty, actually. That's pretty cat. Strange. These doors weren't closed before. I suppose I'll have to work out how to get them open again. I'm so 
sorry guys, I've gone quiet again. Um, I have, however, just remembered what I was thinking of. Up here. One end has a trophy, see? I wasn't just making things up. Whee! I love hearing him say that. That's kind of why I do all these acrobatics every so often. Right, so you want the small box on this end first and then the gold box on that end. And then, you get back on this end and pull the bigger box on with you. That keeps this end down. The gold box is then raised up and you can put it on this, which will activate the door. It has to be like perfect, so. Because it's one of those ones that dips down. Every object here has a symbolic function. Right, here we go. One thing at a time. Cutscene time, lads. How'd you know that would be there? Give me a moment, please. Right. That's pretty much. This is Excalibur. How about swinging Excalibur once? Just fine. It's a priceless artifact, not a toy. You really should be able to destroy anything in your way. But since this is a game and we adore our priceless art artifacts, we're not going to kill everything. We're just going to get out of here before the world dies. Oh, thank goodness! No! We should be at that, at that part, so I really didn't die far from the end. This fruit is a little dumb, oh my lord. Trust me guys, I'm as I'm annoyed with mys about as annoyed with myself as you lot probably are annoyed with me. But once we walk through those doors, this is the that's the level done. So you don't have to put up with me dying for much longer. Oh. No. Let me out. Oh no! This isn't funny. There we go. The route I'm taking right now is actually different, if I remember right, to the 
to the route taken in the easy mode. In easy mode I believe you have a path you can run along for a bit. I could be completely wrong. I'm sorry guys, I'm just getting really frustrated. Thank you! Only just made that, but just... Rest assured everyone, I've got my head in my hands as we speak and I'm actually about to call it a day and just not just not die anymore. I might actually beg Michael to come with me for this level. One last time and if it doesn't work I'm actually just not even uploading this video. This one here, you have to time right. So, any more sightseeing, Lara, or are you finished? We're going back to Bolivia. Then we'll see. That's it. If I had failed one more time, I was not even uploading that video, guys. I mean, you would never have seen this. You would have seen me doing a beautiful, beautiful run through. Also, we almost made all the trophies. Kinda. We were short by six. It's not bad. It's not bad. And the next. The next level is actually the last level. It's pretty short. Shouldn't take much longer than, say, like, a video. Maybe two if you count, like, all the cutscenes that are involved. But other than that, we should be fine. So that's us done with the horrendously frustrating, mostly because I died, um, video from Nepal. And I will see you all later when we return to Bolivia. Bye for now guys. <laughs> Bye.